Hello, math friends. Today we'll be talking about patterns with numbers. We'll start by visiting my buddies at the beach, Bubba and Bentley, who like to go to the beach and have fun conversations about math. Weird, I know. Today, Bubba was like, hey, did you ever notice I've got four paws? And Bentley was like, oh, And Bubba was like, well, if I've got four and you've got four, this sounds like cool information we could put in a table. I agree. Let's do that. So if we make a table with the number of dogs and the number of paws, we know that if there's one dog, we have four paws. And then if there's two dogs, we have eight paws. And then if Buster showed up, well, we'd have three dogs and 12 paws. Pretty cool. It's like a paw pattern. And if you like math problems about dogs, you're in luck, because I've got another one. This one has to do with the ages of our friends here. The table shows us the relationship between their ages, and then we've got some options describing the relationship. Let's see which one's correct. This first one says that Bubba's age is three times Bentley's age, so we need the rule three times to work for each of our rows. Let's look. One times three is three. That works. Let's try the next row. Three times three is nine, not five. Get out of here. Let's check the next one. Bubba's age is three more than Bentley's age. That means we're adding three. So let's check our first row. One plus three is four, not three. That one does not work. Let's check our last option. Bubba's age is two more than Bentley's age. That means adding two. So one plus two is three. This works. Three plus two is five. This works. And lastly, six plus two is eight. That is the correct answer. Good job. Moving on. In this example, a store sells four pencils for one dollar. And we want to know which table represents the number of pencils for different numbers of dollars. So we're given one piece of information to start, and that's four pencils for one dollar. So our correct table in the column that says dollars, we should have a one. And in the same row, for number of pencils, it should say four. So, let's take a look. Two of them match the description we were given, but one of them doesn't. So that one's out of here. Okay, now what happens if I have two dollars? How many pencils can I get for two dollars? Well, four pencils was one, so another four pencils and another dollar would be eight pencils, not five. So, there you have it. Okay, one last example. Here we're told that there's six cups in one package of cups at the store. And we want to match the table with the number of cups and the different numbers of packages. So let's think through this a little bit. If I just bought one package, that would be six cups. If I bought two packages, that'd be two groups of six or 12 cups. If I bought three packages, which is three groups of six, I'd have 18 cups. You might also recognize that as skip counting, or repeated addition, or my favorite, multiplication. So our table, where we have three packages of cups, we should have 18 cups in all. And that is correct in all of our tables. So let's keep going. We're at three times six, so let's see what happens when we have four groups, five groups, and six groups. Now how many cups should we have? Well, we want to see what happens when we have six packages, and we should have 36. So that works for two of our tables, but not this first one, so it's out of here. Lastly, we need to know what happens at eight and nine. So let's keep going from our six packages to seven packages, eight packages, and finally nine packages. And we end up with 48 and 54 cups, which matches our bottom table, but not our top table. And we're all done. Now it's your turn to practice patterns.